I'm going to begin by asking you both about The Lobster and whether you'd seen that and if that played a big part as into why you sort of got involved in this movie. Uh, firstly, before I'd even like, done any auditions, I watched, I'd watched a few clips of it. I hadn't watched it all the way through, though. Um, but I remember kind of being really you know, excited about the way that he does it, like how deadpan. And then once I got the part and I'd started the film, I watched it all the way through. And I was like, wow, um, if this is what this film is kind of following, this is going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I, I watched it and I've watched it endlessly. I mean, when I met my girlfriend there, uh, it's it's a movie one of one of these movies. I'm like, you know, when you, you want to watch a movie with somebody, you're like, what movie will we watch? I'm like, have you seen The Lobster? And she's like, no. I'm like, oh yes, <laughs> you're gonna love this, like you know. So yeah, I watched it a lot. Um, so that's I, I, that's where I took my tone and language as well for this movie. I took that in from there. Yorgos is kind of he was saying before when I just met him that he doesn't like to say much to his actors in a sense that he likes to let them find their own way into the character. Mm. I mean, how helpful is that freedom to, to you guys? I know every director has their own kind of approach and everyone yeah. can be beneficial in different ways, but how about his particular approach? It's nice. He just says, stop moving or, you know, talk fast or talk slower. And it's, you know, you, you kind of know what way to, what language and, and tone to talk in a Yorgos movie. So he never really you know, pinpoints that out for he never asks you, can you m make it a bit more flat or anything? So his direction is pretty precise and small, you know. And um, he shot in sequence, is that right? Or mostly in sequence in this? Mostly, that must have been yeah. quite helpful, particularly the journey your character has to go on. As well. Yeah, I definitely, you know, like with the legs. Um, yeah, I think it was cool that, because, I mean, not, not really many people do that. But, uh, yeah, to keep with the story, it was, it was cool. It does help, yeah. Cause, yeah, because I'm Rafi, I mean, it's... Because obviously your performance, particularly in the, the, the sort of latter half of the movie, is a very physical one, where you have to almost lose all weight on your limbs. And that, that, is that quite a hard thing to do, to just be completely kind of weightless? Yeah, it was. At first I thought it was kind of going to be easy, and then I started doing it, and they are like, well, you're kind of moving your hips here. And then, it's <laughs> like, and then you do it, and you don't realise how... Because it was actually really hard, because I don't have very strong arms, so it's actually really hard trying to pull your whole body weight just with your arms. But it was fun, it was a challenge. Mm. Yeah. Did you have to wear like knee pads? I did, yeah. I was like, no, no, I'll just do it without knee pads. They were like, no, you need to wear knee pads. And in the end I was like, thank God I wore those knee pads. Yeah. And Barry, I mean, obviously your character shares a very, quite a tense relationship with Colin, but in real life, he's one of the most funniest, charming people there is. Was it quite hard to go from, I'm assuming, being very kind of fun and engaging to being yeah. suddenly really kind of awkward? There was a lot of laughs, I mean, a lot of, uh, if there was outtakes of this movie, I hope there is, but like, <laughs> it's just me going, <laughs> you know, and because, yeah, I mean, the scenes are pretty out there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, they, it was funny. It was. It was a funny one. Yeah, because, I mean, there's so much ambiguity about this. I mean, there's lo I mean, lots of questions that I think Yorgos likes to ask, but he doesn't actually give us the answers to. Yeah. So, I mean, mostly this whole illness and what the hell it actually is. Do you guys try and make sense of all of it, or do you quite like being, like, the viewer in many regards and actually just kind of not, not having answers to everything that he's trying to pose. Well, you learn not to ask him questions, Yorgos, because he won't give you answers. So. No, I just did an interview with him. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He, uh, and still to this day, I don't know how everyone got sick or poisoned or was it a power? You know, and he, he, he won't tell you. And he doesn't know either, I don't think. And it's, it's up for kind of discussion. That's the fun of it. It's a mystery. Mm. And it's, I mean, it's a very, I'm assuming for you guys, quite an emotionally draining film that probably took its toll by the end of the shoot. Yeah. Uh, were you, even though it, I'm sure it was an incredible experience, were you quite pleased it came when it was all, came yeah. to an end that you could kind of leave this quite dark, disturbing world? Oh, I was, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. You know. I think it was kind of sad to leave. Yeah. And no more weirdness. In Maybe that says a lot about us. Maybe we weren't messed up. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I mean, Barry, it's been quite a year for yeah. you. Obviously, this premiered in Cannes, and then you had Dunkirk as well. Yeah. I mean, when you sort of, could you, I mean, obviously, you'd already kind of I mean, just shot these and stuff like this, but at the beginning of the year, could you quite foresee quite how this year was going to sort of pan out? I could see it all, as they say, you know, I could see it all from when, when I was a baba. Nah. Um, no, yeah, I mean, signing on to Chris, Chris Nolan movie, and, and then halfway through Chris Nolan movie, getting to sign on to a Yorgos Lantamos movie is it's a dream. It really is for any young actor. It's a dream. Like there, there are directors that you have on your list that you want to work with once in your lifetime or twice if you can. Like, I've got to do it like within one year. Like, so what's uh, what's next for you both? Have you got anything lined up? 
For me, just school, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, me too, school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sort of creepy kid that still comes back like this. <laughs> just can't leave. Uh, cool. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!